This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. I'm gonna shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Cross. Classic kicks, man. We got some hyenas lined up. They all salivating at the bait, Tracy G. Hyenas, make some noise. Hyenas! All right, man. Now, I wouldn't be right. You heard me tell this story earlier. You know, I landed in the D yesterday. I did something really interesting with Joel Osteen over on the east side. Right. Um, the Say Play uh, Detroit Center. Uh, we went over there and, and put together a really inspirational program just to keep people motivated in these trying times. Right. They say a lot of people don't go hang out in the middle of the east side. So that's where we like to go hang out, where they say people don't go hang out, Mike Muse. Yeah. You have That's to, what I man. like to do, man. It was I all mean. on hope and faith and oh. rejuvenation, right? Yeah, it was this interesting combination, Joel Osteen and me. <laughs> it's the people ask how that happened, and I, I say, hey, listen, man, we, when two people got the same similar common goals, yeah. they tend to link up. Um, and we got different methods of reaching people and inspiring them. He does it uh, through his ministries. I, I just do it through the realness. And uh, so that's why we was on the east side. And then I realized, man, I got to make sure that I call my brethren, and I know he's probably upset with me. Why? I know he's probably upset with me, and uh, and I like to uh, confront those uh, disagreements and man to man in person. The realness. Because last time we met up, man, we had a friendly basketball game in Flint, and mm. um, he was a coach, <laughs> and I was a coach, and uh, <laughs> you know I don't know he understood my coaching skills, you know, okay. and, and, and because Cold of that. He had to take an L that day, but 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 the, pro, the but what we were there for, we all took a W, you know. And the globe trotters the, 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 you pulled you know, out the, in the fourth the, quarter. The globe trotters, yeah. <laughs> hey man, I played a win, you and Mo baby. Pete, yeah, y'all me and globe trotters. Me and Mo Pete, you and Snoop was trying to cheat. Thirty-five you know, seconds. You know, that was yeah, man. That Snoop taking pictures with the refs and everything, you know, using his celebrity, <laughs> you so know. It was yeah, yeah. So I tried to cheat, but we ended up winning. But it was a charity event that we were there, and it, it only makes sense, man. If you're in Detroit, you can't. And we, we're going through these hip hop channels, or just talking about what's going on in the community of Detroit. You got to have this man be a part of the conversation and his rich music legacy. Um, and his name has definitely uh, left an impact on the music business. When you talk about Detroit, the one and only Trick Trick is here. Give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. How you hey. doing, man? What's up, cuz? How you been, sir? Blessed, man. I can't complain. Hey, man, you can't complain. I can't complain, man. <laughs> That's it. You know, Detroit, we were talking about Detroit all morning, and, and, and I like to give an opposite perception. You know, Detroit's gotten a lot of bad press over the years. You know what I mean? Everything you hear would be dark or negative. You know, but I know there's a lot of light here, man. Talk about growing up in Detroit for you, man. What was that like? You know what? I, I really can't say it was hard because I didn't know. Yeah. We was living in, you know, uh, what do you call it? Indigent circumstances. Okay. I okay. didn't know. Uh, I didn't know that we was poor. Uh-huh. This is what was going on yeah. around me. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, uh, I wouldn't change none of it. Yeah. I, I, I just. It's what I learned from, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I learned how to survive uh, without even knowing I was learning how to survive. Uh-huh. Uh, and, and Detroit taught me that, you know, mm -hmm. from the east side to the west side. It's not no one side that's better than the other. It's the whole Detroit what makes Detroit. And uh, I was blessed enough to get a piece of each <laughs> area, you know. Yeah. And, and I heard him say earlier that uh, Detroit is like, kind of not not really segregated but it's you know you got all these different these neighborhoods you know we, we represent our neighborhoods hard yeah. you know uh but uh being a, being able to be a part of each one and you know be involved with each one directly really gave me the uh the energy that i have today mm -hmm. even still today you know i, I remember going to a gas station in dd uh, on Eight Mile and Myers, it was late. When I walked in, it was about eight young guys in there. You know, they was turned. Yeah, and uh, they say, "Oh, Uncle Trey, oh, Uncle Trey, what's up?" And they take you know doing the pictures and everything. So we chopping. They say, "Man, what you doing over here by yourself?" I say, "Nigga, I ain't by myself. I'm in Detroit. And I ain't never by myself. Uh -huh. Y'all better not let nothing happen to me over here." Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 That's gangsta. I like that. <laughs> And, and you know that's that's love. You know, every, 
here we take care of each other, believe yeah. it or not. Don't listen to the dark stories. And that's what the media do. They want to tell you, they think for some reason the negative stories is the most interesting. Yeah. We got more positive stories here than we got negative stories. Mm -hmm. We got negative stories just like every other city right. in, in the United States have negative stories. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it's just that's what they choose to talk about and that's what choose to travel. But, the you know. You here for a good cause. Yeah. I'm here for a good cause. Mm -hmm. These people here for a good cause. We always representing and standing up for a good cause. Yeah, yeah. Whether you see the same ones at each event or different ones at different events or the ones that only come out when they want to be on TV, you know, the usual suspects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Either way, when it's time, we coming and we getting down, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and just growing up here, you know, you get to understand the, dip, the different mentalities and different uh, 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 spirits. Yeah. There's some spirits mm -hmm. There's some around spirit. here. Talk about that, You got to respect them the, spirits. You, you talk about <laughs> yeah. the spirits. You about to go into the metaphysical. I mean, you know, when you, when, when you grow up in an environment, like I say, I didn't know I was growing up in, uh, in, in you know, bad circumstances. I didn't know when we only had potato and oatmeal that that was a problem. Yeah. Mm. yeah I'm thinking was, this just what we doing. That was a feast. You come outside and, and you see what you see around you. You yeah. know, the neighborhood uh, uh, the neighborhood hustler is a very uh, uh, attractive person to yeah. the women in the neighborhood and, yeah. and, and to everybody for that matter. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So you, you he's the star of the neighborhood. So you want to be like him. Mm -hmm. You know, and People grow up wanting to be like him because he is the star in the neighborhood. He's yeah. the star that they see. Mm -hmm. He's the one that they see winning. They don't know that what he's doing is, they know it's wrong, but they don't really know it's wrong because they looking at the man winning. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In the same neighborhood, there's a, a, a young lady who's... A, who, who just, you know, has a very beautiful body. Yeah. And, and, and she, she's showing this off. Mm -hmm. And she winning. Mm -hmm. And so what they looking at is her winning. They ain't knowing that you shouldn't be exposing your body, you know, to the, these world of pedophiles that's waiting to, yeah. waiting to do something to you. They don't know that that's for your king and, and not for the world to be looking at. You know, right. they, they think otherwise. And so. That you're going to advance by showing Yeah, your body. this yeah. is what yeah. they see. And yeah. so what you have to do is you have to. They, they, they obtain these entities, these spirits, mm -hmm. by looking at them. That's what's mm -hmm. winning. That's the light. Yes. This is what looks good to me. Mm -hmm. And when you, it's like somebody go to church. You see somebody with the Holy Ghost, you're like, I want that. Yeah. Some people, you know, they think they want that. Mm -hmm. They don't know what it is. They just think they want it. You know, and you see somebody winning, you want that. When you want that, you start to adapt and uh, absorb their energies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some people call them spirits. That's the spirits. Ooh, give it up for yeah. Trick Trick, man. That's Word. a lot of game right there. Um, two questions I want to ask you. Uh, we were talking about, well, a couple of questions, or three questions, because uh, you talk, you know, I grew up in Oakland, so there's a lot of parallels. Chicago, Oakland, Detroit, you know, it's, it feels the same to me, you know. Yeah. And, and then we, we've all evolved as men, you know, as we went from boys to men. We've all done things, you know, uh, that, that may not be on the uh, uh, was considered the, the legal or a legitimate side. And then right. we, we're, because we grow up in our environments, like you said, we see those who are winning and we want to emulate that. And then you reach a crossroad. You reach a, mile, you know, a crossroad in your life. You know, but, but what direction? I'm getting older now. So what direction do I really want to take? I see the world as a bigger place. Um, did that happen to you? And... What was that? Because when I come to Detroit, when I talk to you or me and you and, and Bumpy Knuckles, we're, on the, uh, we're, we're in communication, it's always positive. You know, it's always about upliftment. It's always about progression. When did you reach a, 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 that point in your life, you know, that crossroad where you was like, man, I, I got to make sure I'm giving to the community and, and putting this energy out of empowerment and pride? Because you represent that Detroit pride, too. I, I really can't. I don't know when it uh – when it was a turning point i could say when it went positive when it okay. when i decided to start focusing on positive and positive energy okay. was probably about three years ago um mm -hmm. uh, maybe two on the balcony in new york talking to my og and he gave me some game that changed my life right there like i never forget and i used that game that he gave me and, and, and started moving forward then but it's always been about 
positivity to me, you know, it's a method to the madness. You know, if I had to act out, <laughs> it was because. I felt somebody was being wronged, not yeah. always myself. Yeah. You know, yeah. if I see somebody being treated unfairly, I come from that mother that said, if you don't like it, do something about it. Uh -huh. You know, and, and don't let people pick on people mm -hmm. and don't let people bully people if you could do something about it. So I was the guy beating up the bully. Yeah, I wasn't the bully, mm -hmm. right. but, you know, in the public eyes, I became the bully. So that the reputation was something that did its own thing. It was never nothing I promoted, never nothing I wanted to even get out i never wanted people to know about things that was going on with me w mm. where it was me versus another person because naturally a crime was being committed yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and where i come from you don't talk about the crimes yeah, you're committing yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. You know <laughs> so but that, it was always but, about but, be, something positive about helping somebody I, mm -hmm. you know it's just i did i had to learn over time like okay that might not be the best way to handle that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. bro yeah. Try it another way, you uh -huh. know. And then when my big homie gave me that game, it was like, all right, all right, now, now I can change this to this and this to this. And, and, and I ain't never got to change who I am. Yeah. Or what I'm capable of. Uh-huh. Because dog is still, yeah, yeah. believe that. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, <laughs> I have great. a different message for my brothers and sisters. I have to tell them something yeah, that's going to benefit them. But what have you seen come out of that? Like, so once, since you started two years ago after the big homie gave you that advice, and you kind of – adjusted, you know, your energy and what you putting out there and it got this different message. How how has it been rewarded? Like what have been some of the rewards you see? Well what he told me was to stop trying to be understood and understand. So Ooh. So at that point Ooh. it was like <laughs> hold on, let that breathe, Trick. <laughs> let that breathe for a second. <laughs> stop trying to be understood and understand. Yeah. Okay. That mean God gave you one mouth for a reason. Right. Two ears, two eyes, two hands, two feet. He, one mouth. Shut up and listen and pay attention. And when you can't do nothing about it, like it really don't concern you. You know, we, we get too caught up being involved in everybody else's business, you know, uh, where we got to be judging people about, Shit like they sexuality. Yeah, I don't give a fuck, cuz. Who you sleeping with? That's your business, dog. I don't care. Wow. It, I don't care how much money you made. What's your word like, pimping? You know what I'm saying? I don't care how many women you slept with, dog. What's your word like, player? You know, and, and it's like you just don't, you, you, you got to let your uh, whatever it is that's driving you to be involved in everybody else's business go and start paying attention to yourself. There you go. And then when you start paying yourself, you just shut up mm -hmm. and listen to yourself. And you're going to learn you. And you're going to start paying attention to you. The universe going to reward you when you start taking care of you. Mm -hmm. You burn on that body. Everybody in here burn on them bodies. Yeah. Yeah, that's a spirit burn on them bodies. Now, when you take care of that temple, the, it's like leasing a car. Mm -hmm. You go over the miles, when you take it back, yeah, yeah they're going to want some more money out you. Well, you take care of it, they're going to give you a new car. Yeah. That's what's going on. I'm stopping paying attention. I'm listening. I'm learning. I'm, I'm, I'm absorbing that the fact that when you do s stuff for other people and be concerned with your purpose on this earth is not you. It's to be of, uh, uh, of help to somebody else. Yeah. And when you understand that, you understand that your purpose is just to continue to try to do for other people. Mm -hmm. It's going to come back. You don't even have to worry about it. It's going to come back. You don't back. even have to be concerned with it. It's coming back. There you go. Trick Trick is here. We're at uh, Bob's Classic Kicks. Mike Views, you got a question for him? Yeah, Trick Trick, you're dropping a lot of great jewels here right now, um, and you're picking up something really that's happening in society right now. We're all talking about bodies. We're talking about black bodies, the black male body, the black female body. So body is a theme, and I love how you outline that example about the celebrity in the neighborhood. That's what people want to look up to. So how can you know, our listeners, how can we as a community, Detroit, how can we counter that narrative or that image, right? That goes to exposure. How can we counter that for the good? How can we start showing the good so that those kids growing up will want to be the other side of that example that you're talking about? It's just a matter of leading by example. You can only be, uh, as individuals, we can only be worried about 
what we, we're capable of doing to help. And when you know that, you know, you do your job and you do your part. Like, for instance, I say it because I don't normally say this because I don't, like I say, I'm comfortable with knowing what I can do and how I do it. But I will admit, I go to the store and buy, like, thousands and thousands of dollars worth of sports toys or educational toys like the leapfrog things and uh, uh, telescopes and microscopes and books and the books that you touch and read. And, and then we just ride around the neighborhood, me and my wife or me and my sons, and we just ride around the neighborhood and see the kids that's playing in the dirt and get out and bless them with a bike or something. And that feels so good, you know what I'm saying? When these youngsters grow up or their whole life, they're going to remember that day Uncle Trick came through here and gave me this, which made me now want to be a scientist. Or Uncle Trick came through here and gave me this brand new football, which made me play be in the NFL, you know, or basketball, vice versa. So, you know, just being able to go and spark something, you know, uh, you just need to lead by example. And hopefully the people that's watching you and paying attention to you just want to do the same thing. It's like, a, you know, we can get the snowball effect with something that makes sense. You know, Trick, you still, uh, last night, what, what y'all don't realize is that, you know, this man is probably on fumes right now because when I called you, when I was at the poker table, what time was it at that time, what you think? I think it was only about 11 in. Was it 11 I in? Was on my, I think I was on my way to the studio. You was on your way to the studio. He just came back from the studio. So you've been up wow. all night. Yeah. <laughs> and, and decided to come down here and made it with us today. So give that man a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. And, and, and music is important. Music has been, you know, we talked to Will uh, from the Versus Project and talked about how music and, you know, it's almost therapeutic to you. Uh, Outlaw, that's your project, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, talk about the Outlaw Project real quick. Outlaw was my, uh, that was the project where I decided, okay, you know, it was in the process of me learning myself. Yeah. So I decided to say, okay, now I don't want to try to, I'm not trying to make the radio. I'm not trying to get my record in the DJ hands. Uh -huh. I'm not trying to fit in. I'm not, I don't want to make records based on what I think everybody are like. I want to make, as a musician, I have a gift. And, and uh, as a studio owner, I have all the time I need to make whatever I want. Yeah. And I decided to make well, this album what I wanted. That's why I called it Outlaws. I put my band on there, a lot of live instrumentation, a lot of soul, a lot of funk. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Steve Boy from the Dramatics. Bless me. Uh, uh, the actual dramatics? Y y well, you know, the new dramatics. Oh, the new dramatics. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I was like, man, you threw that out there like, really? I don't even know if Steve's still no, singing no, with him. Okay, okay, okay. So, but that's, okay, that's dope. You know, a lot, like I said, a lot of live instrumentation. I didn't loop, you know, like when the bass player go. I say go from the beginning of the song to the end. I wanted to try some, a lot of different stuff and really have fun with what I was doing. So that's why I named it Outlaw, like. I ain't doing what nobody else do. I'm doing it the way I do it. You, you got another um, a concept that um, you were working with, um, two other icons, uh, Tretch from Naughty by Nature and, and our brother, the one and only Bumpy Knuckles, right? Yes, sir. And that's called? OGology. All right. I'm going to take some phone calls real quick and, yeah. and see who we got on the line. Uh, Sway in the morning, Shade 4-5. Uh, who, who, who's this right here? Good morning. Hello? Good morning. Yo. Yo, what up? It's Bump. Turn that up. Hold up. Turn that up for me. Turn up in our headphones. Go to speak. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. Yo, it's Bumpy Knuckles. What up? We got oh, Bumpy shoot. Knuckles on the What's line. What's up, bro? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Give it up for Freddie Fox, <laughs> a.k.a. Bumpy Knuckles. Send me. Hey, <laughs> what's up, man? What up, Fox? Can you hear him, Trick? I can't hear him. You can't put them headphones on. Uh, say something, Fox. There he is. What's, what's, what's good? Okay, turn that phone pod up, I think, over at the studio in New York. Try it again. So test that mic, Fox. Go ahead. One, two. Can you hear me? Yeah, now we can hear you now, What's man. What's up with it, bro? What's up, man? Hey, hey we was about to, we, we were going into, first of all, give it up for this legend, Freddie Fox, a.k.a. Bumpy Knuckles yeah. on the line, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a humble servant. I wish I was a legend. I wish. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, I wish I was. Well, you know, it's a blessing when you get – Bumpy Knuckles to call in. Yeah, that's yeah. A, yeah that's a, <laughs> hey, hey, Bumpy, how did you and Trick me, and then how did you guys conceptualize this OGology project? Well, you know, um, in, in initially, um, Trick and I had spoken on the phone a few times, but it was nothing to do with 
oh geology we were talking about doing a project together for 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 a minute and i remember going to tretch and i had a meeting with tretch out in jersey by the water we we sat down we had some food and i said listen bro we need to make a power move to do something to kind of inspire our era mcs man to get back on what they know and stop trying to do what everybody else is doing because it's a bad to me it's a bad look for a lot of these guys that's trying to trap and i'm like there's nothing wrong with trap music that's not what we do though though let's do what we do and he said i bet i'm with it so i said we just need one more person and we ran through a list of names and i was like nah that dude just came out of a group. He's not somebody that I think would want to be down with something like this. And then he Tretch said, let's call Trick Trick. And I was like, that would be dope. And when I re-reached out and he was with it, it was a home run after that. And that's how it went down. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, uh, Fox, your mind's talking up a little louder. We just got some, um, um, some um, technical, uh, yeah, some volume issues. Uh, hey, okay, uh, okay, no okay. problem. First time y'all talk, what did you notice about Trick Trick uh, just as an individual? I, I realized, I recognized that he, he knew technically what we needed to do. You know, like we, he and I get into these technical conversations. We call, I call it goon geeking. When we start, <laughs> we start geeking. talking about goon geeking. technical, goon uh-huh. geeking. I, we start talking about the technicals. I like to have technical conversations because I, I understand my way around this music business technically when it comes to the creative process and trick is on that page, man, it was automatic. I, me and this cat sit on the phone, man. He'll tell you when I came to his studio, it, it was over. It was like, we was in there, like we was trying to build a new empire or something. It, it, the, 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 the computers, the, 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 the process, the instruments, you know, I noticed he was very smart when it came to that. And he knew what he wanted to do, which, which was impressive. He brought ideas to the table. Okay, that's what's up, man. Oh, so what's up with that project? Are you guys ever going to, like, get it all the way out there and go on the road? Or is what's going on with that? Trick, you want to jump in? There? I mean, go ahead, yeah, we, we, got, we, got, we, 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 got, we got the videos out right now. We, got, we just shot uh, the, the featuring Ray Kwan, who did such an amazing job on, on, on it. You know, like, when you bring in guys like that, you already know what it's going to be, man. Like, like, salute to Wu Tang and, and and thanks to Ray Kwan, man. We sat in the lab with Ray, man, and he was he automatically came in and was like, "No, I, I want to do this." And we dropped. Uh, I want to tell you something, and then we put out Tequila and shot it as one long, uh, like a double video, which is which is fire. And we still like the the building process is still taking place. You know, we still working on. It's, it's, it's the creative process is never. I hate, I hate doing songs. When everybody walk in the booth and say, "All right, that's my rhyme, that's my rhyme," and it's, and we're not really building towards making a a, a good record, you know what I mean? Uh, like we got to get out of the mind as '90s MCs. We got to get out of the mind frame of, "I wrote my verse, my verse is dope." Everybody want to wear the crown on one song. It just doesn't it doesn't work anymore, dog. Y'all have to we have to start making better records because people are records are not lasting any long. And they, like you, a record can play for. Two good weeks, and next thing you know, they ask you for a new one. That's true. Back, back in the week. day, listening to shit for the whole summer. They're very disposable. Very disposable. Uh, but hey, Fox, I want to thank you for calling in, man. I was trying to create a "This Is Your Life" trick trick moment. <laughs> 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 I think it went all right, Fox. You know, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> hey, hey, Bumpy. Oh, hey, alive, G. hey, man. Uh, uh, I love you, Bumpy. And uh, when we get back, let's sit down and break some bread. All right. Hey, man. Shout out to the morning show, man. Sway of the morning is so. I, 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 when I'm crawling out of the studio, that's the. I, I hit. I hit. I hit it on my, on my phone. So I'm always listening, man. And I'm always. My ears are always on, man. And thank you, Sway, man, for for opening doors for a lot of the new cats. I'm always sending him new MCs. And the fact that you reach across the across the board for for all errors, man, is it, it, you're gonna you're the legend, dog. You're the one that's gonna go down in history that's for right. doing great things, man. Thank you so much for uh, always so being love. there for me and all my guys, man. Thank you so much, bro. It's all love, Fox, man. Just treat me to a fish dinner when I get back, all right? <laughs> no question. I got you on that. Bring Trey. All right. Give it up for Bumpy Knuckles, y'all. Yeah.
bro. Trick, I want to thank my you for daughter. coming by today, Thanks man. For having me, I yo. appreciate you. We'll be my chilling show. out later, okay? Yes, sir. All right, that's what I know. I'm about to eat good in Detroit, boy. <laughs> I ain't yes, worried sir. about it, all right? We're going to go into to this. I want to tell you something, man, with OGology, man. Trick, trick, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to go into the mix, and we got more to come. Hey, you hyenas, y'all ready? Hyenas! I'm, I'm making them sit around and pay dues before they get on the mic. Me. You're going to learn something today, all right? Shade 4 or 5. It's Sway in the morning, only on Shade 45. Kill them.